everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. And today I have my top five kitchen tools that I can't live without, plus a bonus. Let's go see what this list is all about. Okay, I just wanted to do a really quick video about my top five kitchen tools, which ended up turning into my top six, because there's something else that I do use on a regular basis that I cannot live without. So at the top of my list is, you guessed it, my Rada Cook's Knife. This is the standard, um, I believe this is an eight inch long Cook's Knife, and I absolutely love it. I use this every single day, and I can't live without it. This is my go-to knife for just about everything. If I could only have one knife, this would be the knife I would choose. The next thing that I use every single day, nearly someone in my house reaches for this every day because this thing is in our dishwasher every single day. This is called a fish slice or a fish spatula and we call it a fish slice, but the funny, there's a funny story about this. I didn't have one. I never had one before and I'll let Rick tell you the rest. Me and the girls were out Christmas shopping for you, and we we're trying to find stuff for your Christmas stocking. So, I buy all that. So, okay, right? Grabbed it, and it turned out to be a hit. It did. It is the best spatula for turning eggs. If you all like over easy eggs, it's super thin. It is. It is extremely thin. And now, the thing is that they make these in metal and in plastic. And this is the only one I've ever had, and it is the only one that I have. Now, um, this is yellow plastic KitchenAid. At one point, my entire kitchen was yellow KitchenAid, and um, we've kind of gotten away from that. But in any case, this this one still hangs out and is a well-loved utensil in my kitchen. Like I say, someone reaches for this every single day. Micah, when she makes a quesadilla, she uses this. When we make eggs for breakfast, we use it. I use it to flip just about anything over in a frying pan simply because it's so easy to get underneath. And if you are moving like a, a filet of fish, this is the best thing to use because it's so thin and it's flexible and you won't break whatever it is you're flipping. The next thing is my Rada Handy Stir. I use this nearly every single day. Anytime I need to mix something up really quick, if I'm beating some eggs or if I'm mixing up a cake or whatever, I love to use this thing to incorporate liquids together. It's very, very, uh, feels good in your hand. And uh, I'm telling you what, this is better than a standard whisk because of the way that it's built, simply because you get more surface area and more whisking action so things whisk up a lot more quickly and I just love it. I have three of these in my utensil um, jar and I absolutely love them and sometimes I do use more than one at a time if I'm having a busy day in the kitchen. The next thing is definitely my tried and true swing away and you'll see that's the name right there. The swing away made in the USA hand cranked can opener. I grew up with one of these in my kitchen drawer, and so did Rick, right? Yep. Um, these are the best can openers ever. I personally am not a fan of the electric can opener. I know that there are a lot of people out there who have accessibility issues. Maybe they have arthritis or they have, they just can't use a hand, um, a manual can opener. But if you are able to use a can opener, do yourself a favor. Do not balk at the price. These are seven, eight, nine dollars but they will last you a lifetime. I kid you not. And remember the old prepper rule. If you have two, you have one. And if you have one, you have none. So I have two of these in my kitchen drawer and they get used on a regular basis. And we have a couple extra ones put away in case something happens. I've never had one of these break. They are built to last and they are tried and true and I love them. So if you're looking for a good can opener, this is the one that you want. And then my next thing are these little tongs. Now I have all kinds of tongs, right? I have metal tongs and I have coated tongs and they're regular size, but then I have these little tongs, all right? These little tongs, you're gonna they're laugh. Handy. I, I, we use them constantly. I have this configuration. I have one that looks like it has two little spoons on the end and I usually use that one. 
to pull my hard boiled eggs out of the pressure cooker. Um, I have one that looks like it's like spaghetti tongs. I have another one that looks like it has two spatulas on it. It's really great for like flipping a grilled cheese. And these things are so cool. I got these particular set at Hobby Lobby. They have these seasonally in different colors and they're about two bucks a pair and I absolutely love them. They're so handy. They really are. They I, We use them for everything. And then the last thing is these cutting mats. You see me use these all the time. These rated cutting mats. They're little heavy duty plastic mats and I use them down on my, um, my board that I use over my sink and I love them. I reach for these every single day, several times a day. They run through the dishwasher beautifully. And I'm telling you what, for as often as we use them, they don't look terrible, but they are well used. They don't really stain that badly, but they always come very clean and, and throw them in the dishwasher and they get nice and disinfected. And they come in the two sizes, the, the small one and the large one. And I think that the small ones come in two to a pack or three to a pack and the large ones just come one in a pack but they're awesome and i i couldn't live without them i can't live with any without any of these tools including the board that i use over my sink um so that's i guess that's really seven things i can't live without in my kitchen every single day but um not to worry what me yeah i can't live without you either i uh, i guess i'll keep you if you're interested in any of these items, I will leave links down below to where you can get them and you can check them out. And if you feel that you have a need for these in your kitchen, that they might make your life a little bit easier, then um, go ahead and check them out and add them to your collection. Sometimes it's really good to go through what we have, purge the things that we've collected that we're not using, and keep the things that we really use on a regular basis. Last week, Heather came to visit me and before she came, I did a full purge and clean out of my my kitchen utensils and I did a deep clean on my kitchen and I'm telling you I got rid of a lot of stuff and you know what I don't even miss it but these things I would definitely miss so I hope you enjoyed this list video of the top seven things that I can't live without in my kitchen I hope that you'll check out the links below if you are interested in any of those items I want to thank you for joining me today if you found this video helpful please consider giving me a thumbs up if you are new to my videos welcome it's so great to have you here if you like the video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you're already a member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please remember to hit the bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here from our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope that you enjoyed our top seven list of kitchen things I can't live without. And until next time, I'll see ya.